Throughout our daily lives, we are surrounded by laws, rules, regulations, and guidelines. But many of us don't necessarily know what they all are, and yet we are expected to comply with them at all times, else face claims for damages or punishment for criminal liability, and so on. And given that well over 70% of the population of the United Kingdom have a driving license, most of us will remember learning to drive, learning the highway code, the rules of the road, and the road signs. But how many of us really know what many of those signs mean? So hopefully today you'll be surprised by some of the things I reveal from the highway code that you didn't necessarily know. Starting with a sign that you should be familiar with is this one. This obviously gives you priority over oncoming traffic because the arrow for your direction is larger than the other direction. This is in a square box because it is important information. It is letting you know that you have priority over other traffic. The reverse version, however, is in a red circle, meaning it is an order. Because if you see this in your direction, it is an order that the oncoming traffic, i.e. the larger arrow, has priority over you. That's why this one is an order. But those are relatively straightforward. But how is priority indicated in other signs? Well, it is still with a larger or broader line. For example, in the crossroads here, the flow of traffic in the upwards direction has priority over the road cutting across it because it is a smaller line. Similarly, a junction on a bend, the thicker line going around the bend has priority to any roads that are joining it with a narrower line. This one, however, is a little bit more interesting because it is a T-junction with the main flow of traffic going to the left. But you'll notice this smaller line around joining from the right-hand side. The fact that it is a smaller line means that the flow to the left has priority over the traffic coming from the right. But now let's look at some things that you may not have been aware of. Most of you are familiar with roundabout signs and the general directions of where you're going, but what does this gap mean here? Well, as you are approaching the roundabout from this direction, naturally you know that you must go around to the left. But what if you are not from the UK and you are not familiar with the road signs? Well, that's the reason that this gap is here. It's showing that there is no way of going this way around the roundabout. There is no access, i.e. there is no white line showing that you can go across this point, which indicates that you must go the other way around. Compare this, for example, with a road sign from France, where the gap is on the opposite side, indicating that you need to go to the right and you go around the roundabout in an anti-clockwise direction. Let's now look at this roundabout sign as a real example. You can see here there's the gap in the roundabout sign, meaning that you cannot go to the right and you must go to the left. But what is this narrow line doing over here? when the main line goes to the roundabout. Well, many of you may guess that this is a slip road. So as you are approaching the roundabout, there will be a slip road you can look out for that will bypass the roundabout altogether. But now with modern sat-navs, it's going to tell you to take the first, second or third exit. But many people might find this confusing because there are many lines coming off this roundabout. So what do each of these lines mean? Well, you'll notice first of all that these two are in line with each other. Only one of them has an arrow at the end of it and the other one is a stub. This is indicating that this is a flow of traffic in this direction and this one is an exit, you can follow the arrow. This one is not an exit. In other words, you will get to this point and traffic will be joining the roundabout from this point and you may not exit at this point on the roundabout. That's very well you say, but there is another stub over here. So is this stub the same as this one? Well, no, it isn't because there is not another line that links up with this one as an exit point from this point here. What this is likely to be is a service station or some other area which you will access from this exit point. Similarly, you will see that this is not an exit point either. This is joining up with this road here. So in other words, we have the crossroads coming to the roundabout, entering and leaving the roundabout on these points likewise in the opposite direction. And finally, of course, there is the onward traffic flow 
lining up with the road that you would be joining from. Taking another example here, you can see that there is a gap in the roundabout here, meaning you cannot go in an anti-clockwise direction and you must go in a clockwise direction. But what else do we notice about this sign? You'll see that there are a number of different road names leading off to the left hand side. Some of them are in brackets and this one is not. So this means when you're approaching the roundabout this way, this first road that you come to is going to be the road that is not in brackets. In other words, it will be the A406 North Circular. Immediately next to this road, you will see the M11 in brackets. If it is in brackets, this means that this road is leading towards the road in brackets. So because these are next to each other, these are the first two you will encounter. So if you join this road from the roundabout, you will be on the A406 leading towards the M11. But then above both of these, you've got the M25 West. That means this route indicated here is leading towards the M25. Similarly up here you can see we have the A12 which is the immediate road ahead and the M25 South is in brackets. This means that the A12 is leading towards the M25. Taking this sign as the very example here, you can see that ahead is the A12, left is the 406, leading towards the M11, M25. You can see on the bottom half of the map here on Google Maps, we are the little man here. If you take that first left here, you'll be leaving the A12 for the 406. You will follow that up and you'll find the M11. And if you keep following that all the way up, you will find the M25. So I hope you found that somewhat interesting. Let me know in the comments which of those you didn't know about, which of those surprised you. And as always, stay humble and subscribe.